hello everybody welcome to this video in this video to continue our functions today we will talk about the parameters which function text and how we can pass argument to the function parameters and also we are going to talk about uh, something called optional parameters and so on so let's remove them and we can now I want to create a function that take a parameter. For example, a function's type of a string, say net, and curly bracket to the body of the function. Inside this round bracket, we are defining our parameters. Parameters are also like a variable. For example, it takes a type, for example, string name and we can return it return dollar sign name and now we can call our say function say name in here it has an error why because there is an argument that we should pass an string which is name i pass a string of ali inside and now let's run it nothing will print in the console because as previous we know that uh, we have to print our value here how we can print we can type print here or also we can put inside a variable so now let's run it now we can see Ali on the console how it works it makes our function more flexible now you can pass the parameters the name parameters to this function and it will return the name to you and you can print it in here now you can change for example and change the name to Hussein and run it again and now we have Hussein here and also let's define a variable var name and we can put our function say name inside and we can pass Ali here also we remove this function from here and we can type dollar sign name the name of our variable double quoted comma and we can put dollar sign name and let's run it we have ali in the console now we can see that it makes flexible a function now we can pass any name here okay now let's pass an other parameters also for example now i gonna pass string last name and also we can see that when we pass another parameters here now we can see an error here why because it requires it expect an other argument to pass so it is also a required string we have to pass the last name shafai and the error has gone uh, let's print now the ali is printed because we return only ali if you want to return uh, the last name also we can put double quoted comma then hello first and then the name you know put the dollar sign here and then we can concatenate it and also return the last name and close the double quoted comma in here we pass the shafai to this and it will return or we have to print the last name also here by putting the dollar sign now uh, we can see that the string attached with first name and the last name hello ali shafai and now we can see how we can work with parameters in our functions and how we can pass the string uh, to our functions so now let's uh, pass an integer parameters like uh, putting a comma here and int h also return the edge here by putting dollar sign edge and let's run it as we can see the edge is also required we we have to pass the edge also by putting a comma and edge of 25 and now the error has gone let's run it now we have hello ali shafai 25 i think you remember another type of function that uh, we are returning value like uh, let's uh, define another function str name and now we are going to uh, give a parameter name sorry string name 
and also we are gonna pass last name again string last name and also we can define int edge parameters and now we don't need to put the return and also the curly bracket remember this equal and greater than and now we can put our parameters to be returned in here we can uh, return our name first hello dollar sign name and dollar sign last name also dollar sign edge and at the end we can put a semicolon there and let's call our function inside main let's put it in strs variable calling the name of our function str name what str function required it required parameters string name which is ali and comma string last name shafai and also a 30 let's bring change some changes and 30 h let's print it print str and there is a problem str the name and let's run it now we have the both lines the function number two which is hello hussein 30 and also the first function now we can see that the both function work the same uh, whether this function this type of function which we are using the error notation or equal to greater than it looks easier than this function and now we are going to talk about the optional so these parameters which we give to our function uh, they are required parameters we have to pass a value to them if not there will be an error so what is optional optional max the value of that parameters optional whether we want to pass or not it will be optional how we can make them optional for example edge should be optional by putting the square bracket around the edge we can make it optional now we have an error because the age can be optional but it should have a default value a default value is a value that uh, if a user didn't pass any value to the age it will take the default value i'm gonna give it a value of 10. now if i'm going to remove this age from here there will not be any error and if I run this it will print the 10 instead of the edge now because we didn't pass any value to the edge if we didn't pass any value the edge takes its default value so now we can pass another value like I'm gonna give it 70 and run it it takes the 70 so this is it guys i hope you learned the function and the parameters which we defined inside the round bracket in function and also how we can pass a parameters to a function how it returns and also uh, we know about uh, the optional parameters if we don't pass any value to our parameters we can give it a default value it could be optional i hope this video is helpful and if you like this video uh, please thumbs up and see you in the next one